Hi, Jess. I keep hearing people talk about rewriting or undoing sold contracts. It seems to be the theme of our day here. But I don't really understand why we would want to do that. Wouldn't our souls have made the contracts for a reason? Maybe I'm not understanding the concept of soul contracts correctly. Anyways, it would be great if you could share your insights. So I've talked a lot about soul contracts, especially in this Q&A, but I, I, like to, I always like to talk to you guys about it because I think it gives you some understanding of, of why things happen the way they do here. Um, obviously, like the scenario that I give is a fourth grade understanding. It's like imagine sitting on a cloud with all of your best friends in the whole universe and saying, okay, I'm going to go down to earth. I'm going to resolve some issues within myself. So I'm going to choose self-love as my theme. So I need you to go with me and I need you to not love me and I need you to hurt me and I need you to abandon me. And I need, then I need you to come and love me and show me what love is. But then I need you to reject and abandon me. And then I need you to love me unconditionally. But I don't really love you. So can you guys all come and like act as actors in my movie so that I can play this out? And everyone's like, yes, those are your soul contracts. Okay. And those, those people, places, and things you're going to use down in your hologram to act out your soul contract within yourself to resolve and move into alignment of a theme you've chosen, right? So if you've chosen the theme of freedom, you're gonna notice all kinds of people have challenged your freedom. You could say you're welcome to them because they have literally shown up and thank you to them because they have shown up for you to basically try to push you into a limitation where you need to find potentials. So why would we wanna change any of these? Well, the thing is, is it's, it's and this is where I have a little um, disagreement with the spiritual community. So a lot of times the spiritual community will say, hire me and I'll change your soul contract. Bullshit can't happen. Okay, I call bullshit. You cannot hire someone who can override your free will. I don't care how good of a guru or a healer they are. Now, what they could do is they can move into your field, hold space for you, and through your choices and changing of your frequency, you can move contracts around, but nobody can do it for you because no one else is actually technically in your universe. But someone can assist holding space, a mirror, or um, facilitate your own healing. Okay, very important that you guys understand that. So when you're changing a soul contract, and you guys, you need to know something, you're changing soul contracts all the time. Every minute of the day, that you show up more present, more understanding, more self-loving, you're rearranging every storyline that you possibly could have made. Because your original storyline is if you don't wake up, right? So you need 100 people to hurt you, but what if you wake up after five people have hurt you? So then you're going and changing those contracts and they're saying, okay, these people are not gonna make me suffer anymore. They're actually gonna come up and they're gonna show up and love me now. So as you become more present and you move and go heal through your theme, you begin changing contracts from a higher dimensional place, even without your conscious awareness. And it's like a detour. It's like that road's closed because you don't need that road anymore. You don't need 10 people attacking you down that road. So you make this last minute shift to go down this road and five people are supportive of you right? Or your mom finally apologizes to you on this road. Okay, so you're constantly making the changes in your story as your vibration and frequency change. If your vibration and frequency don't change, you will just keep going through all the contracts designed to smack you awake and then smack you into enlightenment. And then once you actually move from from you know suffering to thrive, the contracts move from basically destruction to expansion. So now you're meeting people and things and places that are helping you expand this idea of self-love. Well, if I love myself, now I want everyone to love themselves. And now you're building retreat centers with people. And so now you've got all different soul contracts. So it's it's kind of like a game that's auto-correcting, auto-correcting constantly with your consent, because you have free will, you're the only one who can autocorrect these. Nothing can bypass you. Your higher self and you are working in tandem like that to autocorrect your soul contracts based in what you've learned, what vibration you're in, 
what frequency you're in, and what level of self-love you have generated and created for yourself. What kind of space can you hold? Because your life will keep showing up exactly based on your ability to be aware of it. Okay? So hopefully that helped. Because you are the one who's changing those all the time. So it's not about, you know, you're going to have to just suffer with your destiny. You have you have a path you're going to take how you get there is either fast or slow depending on your level of awareness.